viewers welcome to ICT tube today i'll show how to make your pen drive multi boot i mean how to make your pen drive bootable with windows 7 8 10 or linux operating system it means one or more os will be bootable in a pen drive let me show how to do it Viewers, as I said earlier, I'll show how to make your pen drive bootable, mean multi bootable. So, you need the booting software which I use WinSetup and Windows 8.1 ISO, Windows 10 ISO, and Linux Mint 7.3 ISO. So, let's follow the step. At first, you have to extract the WinSetup. Right click and extract here. It will take few seconds only. Yeah, already extracted. This is the extracted file open it you can see two file and uh, one folder here we no need to go to folder uh, we need these two file for uh, 32 bit os this will be applicable and for 64 bit this will be applicable my pc is 64 we can check out system type 64 bit operating so i'll use the last one right click run as administrator and pressure yes to run it press on yes to run it and minimize the file explorer you can see so many options here usb disk selection and format tools here we will see the usb device which is connected with our pc i'll show the pen drive open this is my USB device which is uh, 16 GB. This is the pen drive when set up Ace Drive. You can see Ace Drive USB plus disk 14.8 GB. Okay, now we will select it already selected and we will go to the next step. It's selected and Fill up the checkbox, auto format it with installation. Checkbox fill up and select FAT32 and add to the USB disk. These options here to add your ISO file. So I'll make bootable first 8.1, Windows 8.1. So I have to select this one because it's Windows Vista 7, 8, 10 or server, which is Windows based, which is developed by Windows. So select this and go to the desktop. You have to click here to browse. Click here and select on desktop. And this is the 8.164 bit. This one. Select and open. You have given a information that your storage device, I mean your USB device, will be split in a part. Press on OK. And they are having option that advanced option. Advan advanced option only used to make uh, rename your OS. No need to rename it automatically rename during boot. Just press on go. Nothing to do here. Just press on go. You have here a information that it's a notifications which is given you to make sure about your USB pen drive data. So you have to press on yes it. Actually, if you confirm about your data, then you have to press it. Yes. Same confirmation. Press on yes. You can see 4.2 GB is my OS size and it's uh, processing everything. You can see you have to wait here for a few minutes to copy data to your pen drive. So you have to be patient. You can see preparing booting file. Yeah, you can see it's uh, copying your data to your pen drive. It will take a few minutes. Now the main file is copying, which is 4.02 GB. It's uh, copying to a pen drive. After completion, this process uh, that Win Setup software give me a pop-up notifications that job done. You have to wait here till to get job done notification. Yeah, you can see this is the job done notifications. It's mean 8.1 is uh, already bootable to your pen drive just press on ok now just exit this software just press on exit 
and refresh for few time after that again open that software who is have used right click run as administrator press on yes minimize this option again now no need to select this option now if you select your data will be delete again so no need to select now just select again that windows option because it's already done 8.1 now i'll use windows 10 select file explorer and select windows 10 select and open and press on go in same process uh, you have to wait here for a few minutes to copy data to your pen drive and it will take as earlier time you can see data is copying to your pen drive you can see and this uh, windows 10 size is 3.86 gb you have to be patient you can see it's um, almost done and it will give you pop-up notifications that job done yeah uh, now windows 10 is done operation ok in same process it should be exit now this two is complete now the term for uh, linux in a same way you have to open it run as administrator press on yes minimize this option again no need to select this checkbox it will keep as it is now this is the linux so i have to select the linux option this is the linux iso select it and browse the file explorer and select the linux mint 17.3 file open and you can rename here nothing to change here just press on ok just press on go in a same process it will take a few minutes to copy your data to pen drive you have to wait here for a few minutes whereas it's uh, less size so it will not take more time to complete you have to wait uh, till defragmenting it will also show you that pop-up notification job done pop-up you have to wait here to get that notification yeah it's uh, already done just press on ok and exit now you can check out your pen drive condition yeah it's already filled up now we can check out this uh, with uh, using BIOS setting and to uh, run up in installation procedure of OS. Now let's move on to the next step. Already it's bootable. The, we'll go to BIOS option to check up our pen drive is bootable or not. Now we'll check out the pen drive is bootable or not. Just uh, this is my pen drive which is connected with my PC. Just uh, restart my computer. Restart your PC. Whereas my PC is uh, HP, so to enter BIOS, I have to press on escape. I have to press escape button. Escape. Escape. And you can see F9 for boot device option. Yeah. You can see this is the USB drive which I have made bootable. Just press on enter. Here are two options. Uh, this is the windows 7 and above and this is the linux we will go for windows 7 and above select and press enter yeah you can see windows 8.0 or windows 10 okay first time windows 8.0 it's mean that it's bootable now press restart again we can check out the linux f9 and select that usb device ok now linux ok yeah linux mint is uh, booting so we are confirmed about that it's finally bootable with three operating system which is windows 8.1 windows 10 and linux mint 17.3 so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, uh, don't worry I've given the downloading uh, all of files to my description box so thank you very much